after the event. We have goodies of our Keys Cafe. Pat's only told me to say that three times now this morning. <laughs> she thinks I'm going to forget. I'll probably do it once more. Thanks for being here, everybody. Uh, this is never let it be said that in St. Paul we do things quickly and you know without great thought ahead of time. It's it's uh, this park, uh, and I'm going to talk about it as a park because as of now it's it's a park. Um, it's been a long time coming. The concept that the Capital River Council had how many years ago? Uh, eight. eight years ago. Eight years ago, the Capital River Council, our district council, worked on the. Uh, the Fitzgerald Park Master Plan, uh, and, and it talks about the housing and the, the retail, but all of it centered around a public park. At the time, we had really no idea of where that public park would come from, but thanks to the Pedro family, uh, they stepped forward, and, and like Mike said, it's always sad when a family business leaves the city, but the, the family uh, will remain here in our hearts and our spirit because they've left something that will last forever in the city of St. Paul. Um, I can go through the long list of, uh, of who needs to be thanked, but uh, I think you all know who you are. Uh, the people that sat on the committee eight years ago and for the last eight years. Our staff people with the city, with planning, with uh, the parks, the, the people that, uh, that sort of brought uh, the physical notion of what the ideas would be. But, you know, really this this is all about a vision from the community by the community. We don't do things in St. Paul fast. We also don't do them without the input of the community. And let me tell you, downtown has become a community, not just of office buildings, but a community of residents. Downtown is, in fact, a neighborhood. And the neighbors got together. They said, we need a park in this part of downtown. They worked, worked towards that end, and they succeeded. And so... All of you should give yourselves a hand right now, actually. <laughs> I love being able to come up and make speeches and talk about how great it is and take lots of accolades and stuff, but really, it was the neighbors who created this park, the neighbors and the Pedro family. So without, uh, without going on any further, I'm going to introduce Andrew Schlack uh, from the Capital River Council, who's going to talk to you a little bit more about the, the role of the District Council in this, and, uh, and then 